Hey Recast, this is Don. Uh, just have some exciting news and an exciting opportunity for us to all consider. Um, there is a property that has just become available and we've been offered uh, the first right to purchase it. Um, it's as you're going outside of the church, it's on the right hand side, it's the red barn and the house. Maybe some of you have even noticed that there's a cow, uh, a cement cow in the front yard there. So that house is up for purchase and the elders had a chance last Sunday to walk through it and uh, we love it it has a lot of potential for us and it also increases our road frontage and so at the end of the day we walked through it and we voted unanimously to put it before the congregation now we do need to have a congregational vote of the membership in order to purchase property and so we are going to put that before you in the coming weeks and so um we are excited about it and there's so much opportunity that comes with uh, getting a building like this and having uh, adding to our property it adds about an acre to the property And then also there's a barn on the property that we're currently using to store uh, Some of our lawn equipment and things like that and so we're already using that facility It also adds some green space that's already cleared of trees um, Where there's a lot of potential there for picnics and different things like that and so Really excited about that. Let me explain why we would want to do this. Um, uh, first of all, it comes at a time where we're in a good position financially to be able to do so. And so uh, despite the fact that we would be looking into doing some financing with it, we're in a very, very solid position to be able to tackle that in very short order. And so although there, there would be a loan and some financing involved in it, we're in a good place there. Um, we will use it, and I can't tell you definitively how it's going to be used, but I am extremely confident that we will actually be using the property um, and using that facility, that building. It could end up being some office space. It could be used to bring uh, somebody on staff in a more full-time capacity and be able to supplement some income and save us some money in the long run on salary by providing housing for somebody. And so I'm looking at different options in that regard. Could end up being converted into classrooms eventually, but I've been a part of two other churches where I've been on staff that had a house out front, very similar situation. And the, the house was very, very, very well used. And so I have every confidence that we're gonna end, end up putting it to use. Um, and then this is a rare opportunity. It's gonna come maybe once in a couple of decades that we have an opportunity to add to our property uh, adjoining area and so um, it seems like we ought to strike while the iron is hot and take this advantage to be able to add this acre um, and really square our property. We have a very narrow frontage right now that's really just the width of our driveway so this adds to that as well. And then um, it's a, a great deal uh, for the property cost in Matawan. So Matawan, as many of you know, if you own a house in Matawan, you know your property value has gone up. Um, the folks that own it right now are uh, former ministry members with Young Life and they understand churches and they are cutting us a really, really good deal on that property. As a matter of fact, you would be hard pressed to find a house uh, in Matawan for sale at all, let alone at this price. And they are acknowledging that they're, through their realtor they could get more um, and they're confident that they could get more than what they're asking and they're passing along a lot of uh, extra bonuses to us in terms of cutting out the, the realtor fees um, for us and things like that. So they're really giving us a good deal. So uh, end, of, end of all of this is to watch for a vote that's gonna be coming. Uh, for those of you that are members, uh, the vote is for the membership. And so if you're currently a member, then you're gonna be getting an email sh in the next week um, letting you know uh, the vote is going to be due by the 21st at the family meeting and the family meeting would be a great place for you to come and uh, and talk about this and uh, if you have questions you can certainly ask questions at any time in the next couple of weeks leading up to that meeting um, you can email me, email me you can text me you can call me you can contact the church office with your questions as well and those will get to me so super excited I think God is uh, giving us a direction here and uh, and just praying for the vote encourage you to be prayerful about this too we don't want to enter into this lightly or trivially this is not a rah-rah enthusiasm you have to vote yes kind of thing at the end of the day um, we want to enter it prayerfully and thoughtfully and at the same time it's really kind of cool to see how God guides us to these opportunities so thanks for your prayers and uh, look forward to any questions that you guys have